Hey Mojo Holics, welcome to Inside Watch Mojo episode 12. As you can see, we are both back in town. Ash from Des Moines. And Rebecca from Cuba. Yes. Uh, what were you doing in Des Moines? Um, what is anyone ever doing in Iowa? I want to know, but anyway. Auditioning for Slipknot. Right. Uh, what mask were you going to wear? Good question. If I were to ever join Slipknot, who's originally from Des Moines, I think I'd go just for the Mojo mask. It seems like a pretty obvious right. pick. Uh, okay, but seriously, what were you doing in Des Moines? Announcing my candidacy to become President of the United States of America. Aren't you Canadian? True, but so is Ted Cruz, so what's your point? Right. This is going to be a very productive show. Yeah, um, you're not going to so, get the answer, so, yeah, so moving you on. may find out eventually. Uh, big news in Mojo Land. We are expanding. Yeah, so we've been in this office for two years now. We have 2,500 square feet where we shoot, where we, uh, we've expanded quite a bit. So literally at any moment today, the landlord's gonna come and kick us out. No, I'm kidding, he's just gonna come and give us the keys to an extra 2,000 square foot office slash studio downstairs, and we're very excited about that, and we wanna thank you for uh, you know watching our videos and you know helping us expand and grow. Cool. Uh, what are we gonna use uh, downstairs for? Uh, well, it's good for us to have more office space just for more bodies, but most likely we're going to keep everybody here, just rejig a bit the layout and shoot downstairs. Because What might we shoot? Well, we shoot inside Watch, Watch Mojo, obviously, upstairs with, you know, we're disturbing these fine ladies and gentlemen in the background. Uh, Dan films topics here literally right there. Um, you used to do What's Your Mojo with Dan. We used to do Watch Mojo FAQ right there. Right. So as we expand, um, it just makes sense for us to have a separate space. I know you used to do a cooking show, which maybe we'll bring back. I know some of the Mojoholics ask us about that. We're gonna do a video game show that we're gonna launch probably in the next three months, uh, or within the next three months in Q2. Um, and we've also hinted at a game show, a trivia game show, so we'll, we'll start doing that. You're gonna start seeing a lot more experimentation and uh, pilots, what's happening, which uh, Adrian and Jeremy did. So it's just, it made sense for us to have extra space. So we're gonna get a lot more Bring us just top 10 comments again. Uh, yeah, exactly. What's this crap? Give <laughs> yeah, us what, what we want. Yeah. Uh, now I think is a good time to mention and feature the uh, like good users on the Suggest page and on the They're trivia. all good Love users. You mean the top, heavy? Yeah, the top heavy uh, users. Hardcore users. Yeah, so why? Well, for the past month, we've been hinting at changes to the Suggest tool to make it more interactive, more useful, more powerful. And it kind of dawned on us that, you know, there are out of the 100,000 plus uh, users who use the tool actively, there are about 10, 20, 30, 40 who are very, very active. So uh, we want to get the, at least the top 10 something. Okay, so they're gonna have like a leaderboard? There's well, there's already a leaderboard, but the top 10 on the leaderboard, uh, we're just gonna contact you, get your mailing address, there. and send you watch Oh, like stuff. a literal something, that's yeah. very cool. Literally, exactly, like t-shirts, caps, mugs, uh, you know, other paraphernalia. Dividends. Yes. Speaking of the Suggest page, we obviously have some Suggest pages that we need your help with, so take a look and vote. Top 10 album leaks, top 10 songs most used at a funeral, and top 10 coming out of the closet scenes in TV. I guess Ellen would be number one of that. It's the only one I can think of. Tom Cruise, South Park? But yeah, no, I think <laughs> Ellen would be number one. He's literally coming out of the closet. Like a Is that a spoiler or no, that's not a spoiler. Literally. Anyway, uh, so I'm working on this week a series actually, and it is quite all-encompassing. It's top 10 events of round number years since it's 2015. So uh, 1985, 1990, 1995, 2000, and 2005. <laughs> Do you have one event from either one of those years that stands out for you? <laughs> well, Back to the Future came yeah, out in 1985, so. I, was the OJ verdict in 2000, 94. Uh, 95 or 94? Well, I, mm, the I think verdict? Yeah, the verdict was, might have been 95. That's it, actually. it was 95. The, the alleged was, 94, 94, but yeah. I think the verdict, I remember that we were... Yeah, and the uh, the chase was on my birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. It interrupted the show I was watching, and I was like, but... Uh, what are you working on? I'm working on uh, top 10 magazines of all time. Uh, most probably be North American slant, so it'll be like top 10 iconic, um, you know, whether you're talking Rolling Stone or Fortune or Time or, you know, People. We'll look at obviously circulation, brand, reach, just you know, how iconic was it? You always see t Rolling Stone breaking some story or whatnot. Right. So what's your favorite magazine of all time? I don't actually read a lot of magazines. Ever? I mean, I, 
I read like on the beach, I'll read like People Style Watch, which is like they're just fashion. Is that what people. you're reading last week on the beach? I did have it, yes. And I, I had like, I, are you I brought share Cosmo for like your, a, cl a. Are you going to share pictures please. of your trip with the Mojo Holics? I don't think so. You might, yeah, I can. I took a panorama of the beach that I I do that all the time. Yeah, it was cool. I've never, I've, I've taken like two panoramas. On my Twitter, I think the background picture is a panorama of me outside Club Med Cancun. Not the side where the beach is, because you see a lot of rocks, but the other side, which is just. You know, where the ISIS or the pirates would kind of, you know, the Al Qaeda Somalia would show up on their boats. But right, yeah. of course. So, we were speaking of magazines. Yes. Um, will there ever be a Watch Mojo magazine? We're Ooh, planning uh, on doing everything else, so why not? Yeah, no, we discuss everything. Um, I, you know, considering that the Mojo Holics are comic book fans, so print product, right. it's not that far fetched to think, well, maybe we might have like a special issue where you, you know, find out more about Rebecca's private travel plans or, you know, a Q&A oh, yeah. with like, you know, someone else or like featured Mojoholics or interviews with celebrities, right? Um, like Jay-Z yesterday, well, you're going to see this probably in a few days, but earlier this week then Jay-Z launched his new, mm. um, you know, music platform. Like it's not that far-fetched for us to sit down with someone like Jay-Z who launches a big product or a new album and say, hey, you know, what is this about? And, you know, it's kind of like a treat for the Mojoholics. I personally don't think so. I think at the end of the day our, you know, our, our, our fans are, they watch videos, they're yeah. into movies, TV, music, and video games. I don't know how much they read magazines. Frankly, I don't know anybody that really reads magazines. So maybe not, but I don't know. I mean, this begs the question. Should we have at one point like a special collector's issue? Like on know? paper. <laughs> on paper, yeah. Because one of our colleagues said, well, why not just make an online magazine? And that's great. And that's probably much smarter because he's much smarter than I am. But um, yeah, why not? Why not have like a special, let's say when we reach 10 million subscribers, if knock on wood, we reach 10 million subscribers, why not have a collector's, you know, Mojo Holly collector's issue? What do you think? Bad idea, good idea, horrible idea? Let us know. Yeah, I, I personally don't have an opinion. I mean, on top of the book that we had discussed. The book is happening, yeah. uh, but the book, well, we'll talk about the book at a later date, just yeah. not to go on too many tangents. Tangents. So, because I wasn't technically here last week, although I was on the show, uh, we have a buildup of contests for which we must announce winners. So, firstly, was a couple weeks ago, we had the What's Your Favorite Spring Activity Contest. So, we're giving this one to Michael Goldberg, also known as M Goldberg 19 who said, My favorite spring activity is a nostalgic kite flying session at the park. Have you ever flown a kite? I've never flown a kite. Okay. Have you? I have. I think I had a. I think I had a kite that said MTV on it, and I really don't know why. Yeah, there could be many inappropriate jokes there, which we'll just bypass. I got nothing. Uh, anyway, for our online faux pas contest, because Ash used to use winky faces in place of happy faces. Which many of you seem to enjoy, and a few yeah. of you were just confused as to where I learned to internet. So. <laughs> uh, we are giving it to Josh Diamond, also known as Bloxerman, who had this awkward moment. I was in the same room as my gran once and meant to text her nice, nice shirt. I mistyped and missed the R. I'm impressed about the grandma who's uh, I was texting. Say That's the same actually thing. pretty I was darn. Like, my grandmother darn doesn't even turn her phone on. So, anyway, so to this week's contest, we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to talk about cheesy movies. But do I mean cheesy movies? I do not. I want you to tweet us a movie title, but replace one word with a type of cheese. So, for example, Monterey Jack Reacher. Uh -huh. Or the Gouda, the bad and the ugly. That I cannot take credit for either of those. But anyway, do you have one? Gone with the feta. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a cheesy contest. What's your? Do you have one that's original? I uh, no. I got nothing. You got was, a week to come up. with I was thinking. I, I will come up with one. And I that's really good. I, I last week I saw one on Twitter. It was replace. Uh, song titles with sausage, so I said, you know, pour some sausage on me, bad sausage. It's so At easy. At least this involves a little bit of creativity. This is a bit like, tougher. Pun anyway, yeah. so don't forget the hashtag WM question, and please join us in all of our punniness. Have we published the top ten cheese? No. What's your favorite cheese? Probably Chev. Goat cheese. Okay, that's Love not goat bad. cheese. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, what's on tap for uh, next week? So yeah, next week I won't be on. There will be most likely somebody on who does not even work here yet. But <laughs> tomorrow, a gentleman will walk in through the door 
And uh, he actually has appeared, let's build a little bit of intrigue here. He's actually appeared in the original uh, pilot that we did for a TV company. And he was one of like the personalities featured, but he also has worked in development. So we're gonna bring him on to kind of just take the game show trivia series. So either trivia, either game show or trivia game show series videos and just kind of take it from concept to reality. It's something we've kicked around for a while, but we're all very busy. So in order to make that go from concept to reality, he's gonna be with us for a couple of weeks. And I thought, you know what? It would be great if he came on here next week and you could basically talk to him and just, you know, he could also tap into your collective wisdom to see what you would like to see in the show, what it should be like, what it shouldn't be like. So he'll be on next week. His name is, uh, you'll find out next week. I actually uh, met him when I was in high school. Small world. I know, it is. Uh, so the pilot, we touched on that uh, earlier in another Watch Mojo FAQ episode or something. Yeah, well, uh, but true. you never said what the media company was that we did it for. Huh, all right, well I guess we could talk about it. It was actually Mark Cuban's Access, uh, formerly HDNet. So Mark and I once in a blue moon just exchange ideas. He's actually not, that's not sound special. He does that, I mean if you email him right now he'll get back to you within 15 minutes. He's very gracious with his time. Uh, he's a great guy, legend. So we were exchanging ideas and uh, he was like, hey, I'm this was like when we had a two, 300,000 subscribers. So this goes back a couple of years. He was like, I'm pretty impressed with what you guys are doing at Watch Mojo. We're looking for programming. Uh, what do you think? So we started to chit chat. And at the time, I actually told him that, look, if the, we'll do a pilot, but if the Watch Mojo channel keeps growing, we may not want to do a kind of unbranded or like little byline produced by Watch Mojo pilot. And we may want to do our, like focus on you guys. And he kind of was like, yeah, no problem. And then a few months later, we did it the pilot. It was literally uncanny how yes. it happened at the exact same time that yes. we blew up. Yeah, and then we started to grow. And at the time we kind of did the deal, we had, let's say, two, 300,000 subscribers. When we delivered him the pilot, we had like three quarters of a million subscribers. And it was really hard. Uh, we discussed it as a team. We, I spoke to some advisors and lawyers as well. And we kind of went to him and said, look, we, we love you, but it doesn't make sense for us to do this pilot for some other random media company, we're actually going to bet on YouTube and the Mojoholics. And then we crossed a million subscribers in October, the day the Red Sox won in 2013, the World Series, that's when we hit a million, like Rain Man memory. We hit a million subscribers, and that's now we have seven, right? yeah, that's baseball. <laughs> now we have 7.3, 7.4 million subs. So it was absolutely the right thing to do. Mark was a bit upset, to put it mildly, but I think he understood in the end, but that was the story. And then we basically, sent him back the money for the pilot just so there would be no hard feelings. And then we ended up using the topics name for dance show. Um, and now we have other media companies that want us to do pilots for them. So it all kind of worked out, but um, yeah, but. So you, know. you chose the Mojoholics over Mark Cuban. We chose the Mojoholics over Mark Cuban, who's a great guy, but I think it made sense. And I think you guys are happy with that decision. Um, do we have a comment of the week to end on since we're doing that? Yes, I believe we do. So last week when we announced that we would be moving to high definition, right. one viewer said. Right. So, oh, I just should have read this. Meskia, I can't read this. Meskia Kasher, I, am, I ruined it, I'm sorry. Said, how about a shift to high quality content? Sassy. Yeah, I thought he or she was being sassy, but you know, they just went on and bashed us for being too American centric. And then I, you know, we chimed in and we kind of replied and, but that was pretty, pretty witty reply there, yeah. so. Sure, witty's one word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.